hey, what is going on YouTube? This is Tylord, aka Red Sox Fan, and I am back again with Let's Play World of Warcraft The Burning Crusade. This is episode 2, and I am here, back again, where I last left off at the end of last episode, here on Sunstrider Isle, and we have two quests currently. Aggression, which tasks us with killing some tenders, seven feral tenders, and seven just regular tenders, and then Solanian's belongings, where we we actually have his, his scroll of scourge magic, but we still need his scrying orb and his journal. And I believe the scrying orb is over here on this second pillar, the, the pillar farthest away from us. I, I don't know if I'd say pillar, more of a eh, like a diving board, you know, like uh, like you would see in uh, the Olympics or something. You know, you kind of dive off into that. Level water over there. Yeah, something like that. So, wait, were we, did we have rested? We did have rested. Oh my gosh. That's not right. We shouldn't have had a rested experience. That's strange. I logged out right over there on top of those stairs. I just logged back in, started recording, and we, we had rest experience. That was weird. So this was cool. So that gave us four times. No, no darn it. I don't want four times experience. I just want regular regular two times. So that's okay though. So, as you can see, ding dong, we have level to five, and we still have, oh, so many quests to kill. <clears throat> I mean, quests to complete. Mobs to kill. We have no time to spare. Uh, so we've reached level five. Congratulations. We've gained 15 hit points and 19 mana. Strength and, and spirit by one. So strength is useless. It and spirit's good. Yeah, it's basically it. I mean, Int is the number one, obviously, Spirit's the number two, then I'd say Stamina's number three, but Stamina not as important as uh, Int and Spirit for Priests. Oh boy. We did aggro a lot of these Frail Tenders, excuse me. So let's go ahead and just I get, uh, I spammed Shadow Word Pain on all of them, so slowly but surely they will be being damaged by my Word of Darkness, and then at the same time I'm going to smite them down. So we, who said we can't take down three level three Feral Tenders at the same damn time? I didn't, because I just did, and with that, oh, six out of seven, I was going to say with that we're done killing feral tenders we still have to kill one more wasn't uh wasn't paying much attention there so the, now we got Solanian scrying orb we just need one more of his belongings his journal his his personal private journal that he left behind wow this is much deeper than i thought and there's a corpse lidzy this is like wow like you look at it from far away and it kind of just looks like a little pond. Like, you wouldn't expect it to be, like, a full-on, like, like swing pool. But it is. Check this out. It's like a whole, like, you can practice your dives down here. Wow. That is deep. That is real deep. That's a big lily pad, too. There, there's quite a few lily pads in here. They're all pretty goddamn big. I wonder what, what kind of size frog would, would use that lily pad. Give me one second, guys. Alrighty, sorry about that, guys. Um, but I, in the meantime, killed a few tenders. So let's finish that quest off. We have a few more to kill. <coughs> oh, man, my throat's got a little tickle to it. But now that we um, we kind of shot ourselves in the foot a little bit, now that we've killed all the feral tenders, we kind of don't want to aggro them anymore because that's just more experience that we don't really need at this point because we're, we're, we're just like so over leveled. Like at this point, I think we're supposed to probably be like level three or maybe two and a half since we're getting times two experience. But uh, yeah, we are just, we are blazing through these levels. So we got uh, a couple more tinders to kill. Shouldn't be too bad. We can just run along this coast here, this coastline and pick them off one by one. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So we're gonna start stacking some mana taps. Oh, this dude doesn't have mana. I'm like, why isn't this working? Should be working. He doesn't have any mana. 
Did the feral tinders? I think they did. Yeah, they did. Feral tinders do. Regular tinders do not. Something about being feral, living in the wild. Like these tinders, these tinders have been domesticated. <clears throat> Excuse me. But man, these feral tinders, man. Ooh, see why they're so they're so wild and aggro and feral. And that's why they're aggressive and they attack you on sight. It's because they they they've been they were raised by wolves in the wild. They were raised by other other tinders. Whenever I hear the word tinders or say the word tinders, I think of like chicken tinders. <laughs> and that makes me think of chicken tindies is what I like to call them. Yeah. So that's that's that. That's my little story for the day. Here is Solanian's journal. So you might remember this place. We were here last episode, the near the beginning of last episode, when we started questing. This is uh, probably one of the best places to start killing all these mana worms when you first get that quest. When you first log in after you create your character. So we got one quest turning over here. Lanthan Perilon. Last name Perilon. Uh, some lanth lanthan is on peril. I, that might be a new street drug or so I don't know something. It is better you learn about survival and the cost of survival now rather than later. Making hard choices is blah blah blah. You sound so pretentious, dude. I'm not gonna listen to you. Fuck out of here. And we have a follow up quest: Felendrin, Felendrin, the banished. Oh my god, he was banished. The and that rewards us with with a bow. Or a shield, and uh, we can use neither as priests. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Uh, you, but you might be thinking, hey, wait a second, you have a ranged slot here. Surely, you can cram a bow into your hands or something. I mean, technically, <laughs> excuse me, you would think uh, anyone would be able to just, you know, hold any weapon, but no. The only thing that goes in these ranged slots here for priests, or for mages, or for warlocks our wands, which, you know, not a not a bad trade-off. Wands are pretty, uh, well, they're, they're not as powerful as bows, but they're, they're not really powerful at all. So let's run back up here, talk our to the well watcher, fall. give him all his shit. Have you had a chance to find my belongings? Once we reassert our dominance over Sunstrider Isle, I will need them in my work for now, blah, blah, blah. Oh, cool, we got some, some nice gloves. The and then I think one of the follow-up quests here, he wants us to, yeah, go read the Shrine of Dath Ramar. He wants we us to read the plaque there, that was over there. I don't know why. I mean, it's something important. I'm not sure. Got a new little uh, mace here. Let's go ahead and equip that shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice mace. A four-pronged mace. Here you go, sir. Have a nice prayer of fortitude you're welcome you mad brah nah brah I ain't mad brah pretty chill pretty chill so you might be thinking where the hell is this shrine I've never heard of this shrine so if you just kind of want to follow the path I'm taking it's over oh god there's some more feral tendies over here there's a little enclave over here of land that you might have noticed at some point last episode but I never really went over there to explore and that's because there was a quest involved over here and I didn't have the quest so I didn't come over here because it would have been a waste of my time because I'm just gonna spam aggro all these feral tindies and hope I don't die so here is the shrine oh my god another one another one here's the shrine here's the plaque that we have to read just get far enough over here that they just leave me alone. Just run over here, I guess. Ooh, there's some shit over there. Let's go explore. I'm gonna go exploring down there. See what's over there. I, I don't think really anything. There might be like a rare mob, but I doubt it. So this is the shrine of Dath Ramar. You have discovered the location of the shrine. Upon further examination, you sense a stronger pulse of the strange power that has gripped the isle. You feel a bit uncomfortable standing by the shrine, and perhaps a little disturbed. The bronze placard blah 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 shrine of death. <laughs> Who gives a shit? I don't really give a shit. 
So let's go run over here. I don't think there's really anything. We can swim out onto the horizon. Oh my god, more tendies! They're everywhere. Why are they everywhere? Yay! My game doesn't like it over here. Okay. <laughs> let's not go over there. That was weird. Uh, kind of spiked down a bit. I thought the game froze for a second, but I guess I just uh, stood still and I wasn't moving. Anyway, uh, oh god, I'm just gonna hearth. You might be thinking, but you're so close, you can just run over there. And uh, while that is true, yeah, I don't really feel like it. So I think I'm actually farther away here than anywhere else on this on this Sunstrider Isle. So I'm gonna run back. We're gonna turn in this quest, and then we'll have whoops. We'll have a couple quests to do over at the Fallon Fal. Falthrian, is that what the hell, is that how you pronounce that? Falthrian Academy. It was, it once was a noble State your business. and studious school for us blood elves to study the arcane magics, but until we got corrupted by nasty fell magic. Have you read the plaque on the shrine then, priest? Ah, thank you for sharing your experience. Uh, blah blah blah. Farewell. Follow up quest. No follow up quest. A, hey, but you know, more importantly than a dang. Oh, I'm sorry, cat. Than a dang follow up quest. We is we leveled up to six. You know what that means? Well, first of what all, I'm gonna sell my shit. Second of all, I'm gonna hope that uh, my FPS will stop dropping to five. Why are you doing that? Okay. But most important of all. Let's go ahead and yes. talk to a priest trainer. We got a couple more spells to learn. All right. Yeah, Remember I'm pretty excited. First and foremost, we got Power Word Shield. One of the staple abilities <coughs> in priests. In the priest class. In the rotation of priests. So let's read this really quickly. Power Word Shield, rank 1. 45 mana. And not too bad. 40 yard range, hey, not too bad, again. And a 4 second cooldown. But, that doesn't really apply to us, the 4 second cooldown. I mean, it does, but at the same time it doesn't, because it really has a 15 second cooldown if you kind of if you kind of read it. So, draws on the soul of the party member to shield them, absorbing 44 damage. It lasts 30 seconds, unless you absorb the 44 damage, then it'll go away and say like maybe yeah, like tw like 10 15 seconds depending on how much damage you're taking at the time while the shield holds spell casting will not be interrupted by damage ding 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 we have a winner that is great and once shielded the target cannot be shielded again for 15 seconds and that 15 seconds is called forbearance something you will see shortly as I buff myself with the forbearance so let's go ahead and shield up smite up Shadow word paint up. Get a paint on that guy. And uh, kill these kill these wraiths. Arcane wraiths. So we still are absorbing damage. Still absorbing damage. That's pretty good, man. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now. So we got a corpse here. But that corpse is not the corpse of a player. Like, we can scroll over it. But if it, if it was the corpse of a player, it would say, oh, corpse of so and so, the player's name. But uh, that's not the case here. So let's keep on running. There's two paths you can take, by the way. So this this little first beginning platform splits off to the left and to the right. It honestly does not matter which route you take. You're gonna run into e either way. You're gonna run into these tainted arcane wraiths, which we need to kill two of anyway. But they drop a special quest item. Well, it's an item that starts a quest. So I believe either route you take, you will encounter the uh, same amount of NPCs, enemies, you know, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and not uh, attempt one of these guys. Get rid of that bread. Uh, we don't have bread in our in our bags. Anymore. We don't need bread. Smile sure does a lot of uh, mana. It's a pretty high mana cost. 
Whoopsie, sorry about that. I kind of stopped recording for a second. And, uh, as it turns out, I aggroed both of these wraiths. So, let's go ahead and kill these dudes. I think, I don't know. Shower of Pain is less mana for about the same amount of damage. Except in two seconds, it takes 18 seconds. So, you know. Kind of, uh, I mean, there's there's pros and cons to using either spell, really. We're really we we are out of mana, so we gotta resort to smacking this, basically this ethereal being made of like you know arcane mana dust. We, we smack right through him with our mace. I don't know how that works, but apparently it does. Alrighty, so we're making our way up uh, this little whatchamacallit, ramp. That's what I was looking for. It's, it's a ramp, guys. That's just what it's called. Sort of like uh, Ramp Druid in Hearthstone. If you guys play Hearthstone, I don't know if you guys do or not, but uh, I, I dabble in it. You might have seen me uh, make a few different videos on it. From, from time to time, I've been known to enjoy a game of Hearthstone. I'm going to aggro this dude, for sure. One of the things... Oh my god. I forgot about this. With this realm, Excalibur, wow. One of the things you kind of have to watch out for is <coughs> the aggro range. I th I can't remember it being this large. Like I know I just played on Nostarius, but it's possible they they changed it in like Burning Crusade because I feel like could you again. I, that's why I think it's just this server. But I think the aggro range is like much larger than it was in, in in like retail at the time. I don't know. I think it, it could be a bug with. I think people were saying a long time ago. I was I was hearing that it was a bug with not the server, but but with with the code they were using or something like that. I don't know. So let's run up here. We actually have to go find another tainted. Arcane Wrath, I believe, unless we run into another one up here. But yeah, so you just kind of have to watch out for that, especially with humanoid mobs, because they're really the ones that run away when they get to around 20% health. And when they run, oh my god, do they chain aggro. And it is so, so horrible. But that's okay. We'll learn. We'll learn. It's a learning experience for all of us. So, holy shit. We are definitely going to have to pick these guys off one by one. So there are a few tainted mana rates up here. I'm gonna have to wait for him to see. So if I attack this dude right now, okay, now I can attack him. Probably won't aggro. But if I attacked him while he was standing just right over there where he was, oh my, he would have aggroed this whole room. Well, he would have for sure aggroed Felindra. By the way, this is a boss we have to kill, so oh, we can't put a skull on him. I can only carry one of those items. So you know what we can do? Uh, we can drink up really quickly. I'm just gonna shield up and uh, smite and uh, smite this guy to death basically. Loot him. Then I'll probably jump off or something into the water. Because we'll, we'll basically be done here. Uh, this is the quest item I was talking about. Tainted Arcane Silver. This item begins a quest. Alright, let's uh, begin this quest. So bring this Tainted Arcane Silver to um, that one Arcanist we did the quest last episode, Tainted Slivers, aka Tainted Silvers, or whatever it is. No, Arcane Silvers. It was Arcane Slivers, but I was saying Silvers. This is Sliver as well. Did I say Silver? I'm pretty sure I said, like, Tainted Arcane. Holy shit, I'm gonna die! What the fuck? That's embarrassing. Alrighty, guys, so I am back here. I am alive. Let's loot this guy before... <laughs> His body disappears, and we can uh, we can get the fuck out of here. So I was not really uh, paying attention to my health, and as you saw, they kind of busted through my power word shield very quickly and decided to kill me. So let's just jump down here into the water. Fun little fact, or I don't know if I should say fun little fact, but sort of a a tip, a guide, if you will. If you're all the way up at the top of that spire and you kind of just want to like get out of there, you know, kind of like what I just did, you can 
just jump down into the water. Make sure you miss the other platforms and don't land onto the like land because you will for sure die from that uh, high of a fall. But if you land in the water, it uh, breaks your fall <coughs> and you won't die. Great. So we can just uh, spam power word shield and tell those attendees get the fuck away from me. Those guys are annoying. All right, so let's talk to Paralon. First and foremost, I believe this will be for Felindrin the Banished. Anaria shall we can turn in his head. We basically cut this dude's head off, and I think the shield gives us more Joel money. Aran. So let's do that. And his follow-up quest is aiding the Outrunners. Speak with Outrunner Alarian near the bridge leading we south of Sunstrider Isle. I will do just that. My good sir... So we have that quest, and then we have Tainted Arcane Sliver. Before, when I started this quest, after I clicked on the item, I said silver. And that really, that tripped me up. Just like last episode, you know? We've come full circle. Let's go ahead and set this quest. Tainted Arcane Sliver, turn that in. All basically, we, all we get after we turn that in is experience in, uh, in, in gold, in silver, I should say. Money. So now that we have completed every quest here in the starting zone. Alrighty guys, sorry for all the cuts, but I don't know what it is, but Fraps is just having a hard time recording right now. Anyway, I was going to end the episode uh, regardless of what the FPS is um, and how bad this part of the video is going to look. Because we've completed every quest here in this Blood Elf starting zone of Sunstrider Isle. The next quest we have... Uh, wants us to start making our way further into the Eversong Woods. Sh uh, Silver Moon City, I was just going to say Shatrath, is uh, is right here. We can't really see it yet because we haven't discovered it. So the next quest is talk to Outrunner Alarian. She's basically across the bridge connecting Sunstrider Isle with the Eversong Woods. And then from there, we'll just keep making our way into Falcon Wing Square and uh, getting more quests and so on and so forth. So anyway, we are level 6 and basically... 90% of the way to 7, that's pretty awesome, we are leveling really quickly, just like I said, we probably would from 1 to 10 or so, 20 on, we slow down a bit just because then things start to, to even out in regards to the times 2 experience on this server compared to Blizzlike one time, so we'll see how that goes, anyway, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, until next time, this has been Red Sox fan, or Tyler, Tylord, aka Red Sox fan. I hope you all stay classy and peace out.